In this video, I will show you how to prepare an insert cutter uh, body, including the inserts, for importing into a toolkit assemblies file. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have an origin for the coordinate system at the point of uh, the center of the back face, and the back face is where it snaps into the arbor or the holder. So I just want to make sure I have an origin there and create a coordinate system there. So I'll click on, and this is in the SolidWorks assembly. So I'll go to my reference geometry coordinate system. And I have selected my point as the origin. And again, I want to make sure my Z axis is normal to this back face. And any particular direction for the X, in this case, is not really relevant. I'll accept that, and this will be my mount coordinate system. And the next coordinate system I need to do is I need to create one in the center of the insert. I need to create a plane and create a point in the center there. Uh, the easiest way to do that, I have found, is to create a point, create a sketch on this plane here for the insert, and just create a point and add it to the center of the mounting of the insert. Accept that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is create, go back to my reference geometry, create a plane, and I want it parallel to this at the end point of this point. There is my plane. So just for reference, I'm going to expand this out. Don't have to. But now I'm going to right-click on plane, create a sketch. I'm going to pick on the origin because I need to project that or convert entity onto that plane. Except this. Now I have my point for my coordinate system for that one. I'll go back to reference geometry, coordinate system. My position will be this point. Make sure my z-axis is normal to this face, and that is my coordinate system for the cutting point of the face mill. I'll rename this cutting point, and I'm going to save this. Now, I'm going to import this into a tool assemblies library. This is the easiest way for insert tools. I'll select my face mills library. And I'll slide this over. And what I'm going to do is import. This little pop-up comes up to make sure that the model you're going to import is in the active SOLIDWORKS window. I'll click OK. Generate this as milling tool. Now we've got two separate models in here. We've got the body, which is, in this case, can be a shank. And then over here is the cutter, that's the inserts. I'll right click here and change this milling cutter to a face mill. Now, this output, I'll right click, change reference coordinate system to mount. And for the inserts, right click, change reference to the cutting point. Click OK. I'll drag this over to the storage. And let's turn on the cutter. Now, I have my cutting point, I have my mounting point, and I'll just save this. And that is, you can use that with any type of insert mill, face mills, uh, insert end mills, things like that.